Now on to the latest regarding the charter fishing boat that capsized on Saturday off South Korea's southern coast. Despite round-the-clock search and rescue efforts over the weekend, questions remain on how the accident occurred. Shin Zemin has the latest. Officials are scrambling to find the missing people who were on board the dolphin fishing boat that capsized on Saturday. A total of 72 boats, including Navy vessels, patrol ships, civilian fishing boats, and four aircrafts were mobilized to search for the eight passengers still unaccounted for. Considering that three days have passed, and with only a few victims recovered near all coastal areas of Chuja Island so far, we have designated three different locations as search regions. The boat with 21 fishermen on board lost communication on Saturday evening and was found Sunday morning near Chuja Island, north of Jeju Island. So far, three people have survived and 10 confirmed dead. The total number of passengers is down from the initial estimate of 22, which was based on the ship's passenger list. The Coast Guard said the capsizing of the boat may have been caused by high waves, an investigation based on the testimonies of three survivors. Officials are also planning to launch a probe to determine if the boat complied with safety regulations. President Park Geun-hye ordered the Public Safety and Security Ministry to do everything possible to search for the missing and ordered those in charge to provide accurate information on the accident. But Coast Guard officials say that after being notified of the boat's distress, the safety center was unable to confirm the boat's location within the so-called golden time and tried contacting those on the boarding list by phone. Although the Coast Guard eventually dispatched a rescue crew, it was sent to the wrong area, misjudging the location of the ship, costing valuable time and perhaps precious lives, evoking memories of last year's Sewolho ferry tragedy. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.